for fastest and cheapest Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, EasyMutt.com. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up? It's Fire here, back in the video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run a Nano Blitz here of the Big Dime 146 formation. Now, this is gonna be sort of a different blitz setup than the ones you've probably already seen. Uh, uh, DB Sting, two buzz, cover two sync. But this one I'm gonna be showing you guys is a completely different play. Uh, first things first, I'm going to set some personnel subs. What you're going to want to do, put your fastest cornerback here on the right slot. Now, you can run this vice versa if you want to run the blitz from the other side. I'm going to be running the blitz from the left side, so I actually want my fast corner on the right side uh, because I'm just going to flip the play. If you want your fast, if you want to blitz off the right side, just put your fast guy on the left. Simple enough. So, um, that's pretty much all the personnel subs you have to do. You could put safety set linebackers I guess I should mention that as well if you wanted to do that now the play we're gonna be running today is gonna be cover three sky like I said we're blitzing off the left side so I'm just gonna flip the play if you're more comfortable with the classic big dime look I would recommend just running it regularly unflipped but it doesn't really make too big of a difference the formation is pretty symmetrical so with that being said let's just go ahead and come out in the play I'm just gonna come out in a classic gun bunch and I'll be showing you guys a variety of different pass protections. The first one being just wheel your running back. or I mean, I'm just going to put my running back on a route just so we have five-man protection. What I'm going to go ahead and do is a very simple setup. This first time, we'll get a little bit more in-depth as we go along. Now, for the first setup, all you're going to do is just slant outside. That's deep to the left. Push your right stick up, and then you're going to go ahead and quarterback contain. That's LB and RB. Now, very important that you manually move this cornerback in so that he's in the contain assignment. Here you guys see our D end is in the assignment. You have to move him in. As long as he's in the contain, it's good. You kind of want to move him into uh, sort of the middle I've had the most success with. You don't want to move him too far in or too far out, otherwise it ruins the blitz. So again, we're just slanting outside and containing. Then just go ahead and snap our ball. You guys see Tredavious White's going to scream off the edge. Simple enough. Now, the reason this happens is basically just because we slant outside. For whatever reason, out of this big dime 146, the DNs are in super favorable positions to where they can just, they're actually lined up on the outside of the tackles. So slanting outside, they're obviously going to match up with the tackles more times than not, unless something glitchy happens, which just allows Tredavious White to scream free off the edge. So again, that's the look, slant outside, quarterback contain, move Trey White in, and then just against a five-man protection, he's going to scream off the edge, obviously. Very simple stuff right there. Um... If you want to mix up your coverage out of this, what I would recommend doing a very basic sort of coverage adjustment is just going to be turn this into sort of a cover three cloud. So I'm just going to put B in a soft squat and put um, A in a deep half. You, if you want to get a little more adjusty, you could just put this linebacker in the middle third and then go ahead. User this player right here. You could just put RB in like a vertical hook. I know that's not very basic adjustments but for me it takes me like a couple seconds to do that not very complicated but this is just a basic cover three cloud setup here you're going to be using this linebacker on the right though unless you do want to use that cornerback so again just against a five-man protection Shavius White is going to come through and you sort of want to get the perfect blitzing um, assignment to where he's not really stuttering he actually did have a little stutter there so it definitely can't come through faster keep in mind Shadavius White is only 91 speed so he's definitely not the fastest player that you can get. Show you guys one last time against just a classic five-man protection. Just move him in. Now, if you actually do click onto these linebackers, just another tip, they will back up. So if you click onto one, I like to stay there. Uh, just looks way more appealing against the run when they're hovered. Uh, when I see this look, I feel like I can run the ball, but when they're over the line of scrimmage, it looks a little bit more, a little bit more difficult to run the football. So again, five-man protection, snap our ball. Tre'Davious White scream off the edge. Only 91 speed, and he's coming through that fast. You don't really have too much time to make a read there, especially considering we have seven people in coverage. So now let's go. Let's just block our tight end here. We have six man blocking, six people blocking. Uh, you should be able to block you might think oh six against four should be easy money the players will just slide over That's not really the case again. We're coming out in our setup slant outside and contain Six-man protection uh, I actually messed things up there. I don't know if you saw I accidentally clicked onto the D end That was the reason that the blitz doesn't come through so even something as small as clicking onto the D end Will ruin it just because once you click onto the D end they sort of move a little bit um, It's kind of unfortunate, but just make sure that you don't do that 
obviously. So, uh, same setup, just gonna block A here, block our tight end, and go ahead and snap the ball here. You guys see, it doesn't matter. We, they have two people blocking absolutely nobody, but Madden 20, it's in the game. So again, that setup, super quick pressure. We actually got faster pressure than we ever have. Uh, hey, we actually didn't get that hover animation there, so that's kind of cool. But again, very basic stuff. Slant outside contain. Um, I'll show you guys another setup after this. This is again blocking the tight end. We get that perfect animation where Travis White isn't sort of following behind anybody. He's just running straight at the quarterback. Instant pressure. Very difficult to make a read. Uh, especially considering we have seven people. If people are killing you with like a hitch, now route, you can easily adjust to that. So again, all right, as you guys can see, I am in a new formation. I was just going to show you guys a way that you can get four man pressure on seven man protection and it involves the running back being on the opposite side now unfortunately there's no way to like glitch out the running back as there is in other blitzes like the cover two sync one you guys have probably seen before where you just man up the linebacker on the running back uh if you guys want proof that it doesn't work here you go we'll go ahead motion mckissick over and he should pick up the block perfectly fine this isn't meant to be like such a cheese blitz as that cover two sync one um it can be stopped but it's a different it's de it'll definitely throw them off uh being a cover three play but you guys see there he picks them up fine if i were to run it out of cover two sync you guys would see he would get pressured but with that being said uh if they don't motion them out if you just want to come out here give them a classic look this is the look of cover two sync they could think you're running db2 sting but it's just going to be different because it is a cover three shell way less adjusting if you want to run a cover three um, so here again, if I max protect, you guys see seven man, boom, snap the ball, and Tre'Davious White's still gonna come through. The running back's not gonna come over that much, unless you motion him over, obviously. But many people don't know how to do that. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different setups I want to go over as far as this coverage goes. I've showed you that covered three cloud one. If you want another look at that, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put X on a soft squat hide on a deep half and there you guys have it pretty basic stuff in this situation i would probably use her coleman just because i'm worried about that slot guy being on a corner route i'm not as worried about the tight end in this partic particular situation that's our setup on offense defense very basic what i like to do if i have a cover two shell is typically shade outside so that you don't get beat necessarily by streaks or any cover two beaters on the sideline uh, I usually like to shade outside anyway to stop corner routes and those types of routes but again if I just max protect here uh, user Coleman uh, just hit my controller on my desk snap the ball you guys see pressures coming through um, I'm gonna want to go over a little bit more complicated stuff so uh, I might actually audible back to the bunch but for now You'll, the one variable that you want to keep the same is just this move Shavius White over and slant outside. If they run the ball, you sh it should be decent against inside zone. Now, if they audible down, that's a different story. But you can come out in different formations in various things. Now, a setup that I kind of like to go to is where I actually man up the slot guy. So what I might do is go ahead and actually I want to man up the outside guy on this right side so that I'm able to use her this right side so I'm not too worried about the tight end so I'm just gonna man up B and then what I like to do is typically just put a on a vert hook or you could also put a, leave a on that curl flat just to defend any tight end routes but um, in this situation typically I like to use her player I'm not too worried about B beating me over the top and then the tight end unless he's on a streak or something you could also go ahead and man up uh, this Y linebacker on him. Something like this is a setup that I like to go to. Now, if you're not comfortable using the safety, that's perfectly fine. But uh, you really just want to mix it up. Don't give your opponent the same look every time. I, I said this in my cover two blitz as well. You really want to mix it up every time. If you give your opponent the same look multiple times, stock cover three, stock cover three, then they'll go to their cover three beater if they have one or they will kill you. They'll find a play and they will just continue to go at it so you could even quickly audible this to a cover two if you can but if you want to run cover two then i would recommend um just running that cover two sync blitz but this is not a bad setup to mix in now unfortunate the unfortunate part is that you can't really audible the audible is glitched especially where you're flipping like you'll have two corners blitzing you guys see 
I don't want that guy blitzing, so if I flip the play, then we have two corners on that side. It's just a bunch of terrible things, and it's just super glitchy. You guys see my zones are completely messed up. So that's not really going to be an option, unfortunately. You kind of wish you could audible, but since they're blitzing from different sides, it doesn't really work. But like I said, my favorite setup is going to be this cover, th uh, cover 3 cloud. Uh, I actually want to show you guys a different setup. I have out a gun bunch, so I'll just go over that really quickly, and then we will end the video. But this gun bunch setup is very useful, so I think I should just quickly go over it. So again, we're coming out in the same play. Uh, gun bunch setup I like to do is just man up X on X here, and then we're obviously keeping the same blitz setup, but... Here, basically, you can just use her the curl flat. You're using the safety. Whenever you use her the safety, I always assume it's a cover two setup or a man coverage setup. But since you're in a cover three, especially on that right side, it's going to throw them off. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and man up that corner on RB. Something like this can be very successful. Um, I know this is very adjusty, uh, very pretty complicated. Basically, what I'm doing is just manning up X on X, manning up our RB corner on our B and then I'm just putting B in a soft squat and A in a deep half. That might be a ton of might be I might be talking gibberish to some of you, but if you are a little bit more experienced, this is a setup I go to, especially against gun bunch there. I blocked my running back so the blitz was blocked, but you guys see everything seemed to be bagged in the secondary. So just another setup for you guys. Uh, that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for some more Fireman 20 content in the future. Also, drop a follow on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Go check that out. And peace. I'm out of here.